Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by Just a Girl in Her Wigs. My name is Heather and I am here to do a review or to talk to you about the wig that I have on and it is called Lola. It is by Henry Margu. The color is 26GR and that is gold blonde and light blonde highlight with a brown root. So you can kind of see that brown root. This style has been out approximately two years now and um, I have had Lola in my collection for approximately one year. I bought this style because I love the style. I just don't like the color on my skin. The color seems to me a little too gold for my skin tone and I usually prefer auburn, reds, platinum, ashy colors. This here just seems like it has a little too much gold in it, but I do love this style. This style, um, if you know me very well, you know I love big, volume, curly, bold styles. And that's what I typically wear. Um, this, uh, this wig weighs 4.15 ounces. As I said, it's a basic cap. It offers no lace front, no other features. Um, it is a synthetic fiber, so it is not heat friendly. Uh, the fibers are incredibly soft, silky soft. And usually um, what I want to say too is when I try to wear a Henry Margu style, um, the caps usually are too big for me. The uh, ear tabs come down too low. This ear tab is fine. So you can kind of see where it comes. Usually the ear tabs come down here, like to the top of my ear or even just be you know below my glasses so that kind of presents a little bit of a problem when i try to wear my glasses because i do wear glasses all the time i don't wear them just to read but i have to have my glasses on all the time so i can actually see <laughs> see what i'm doing um so when i wear wigs and i choose wigs i make sure that the style will work well with wearing my glasses all the time i usually have glasses on about 15 to 16 hours a day, if not more, depending on what my work day is and everything else that I have that I have to do after work hours. Um, so I want to make sure that the ear tabs are not too long on me. But this uh, particular wig that I have on, this particular cap, it fits me great. It's not too tight. It is not too loose on me. Um, so I feel like that it, it's a great fit. Um, this style has a lot of permatease in it, and um, what I will do is I'll just let you know is the permatease is all across the top, along the sides. Now, I don't think, it doesn't have, on this wig, it does not have a lot of permatease from about here down. I think you could probably easily tuck a little bit of this behind your ears um, and not have any problems. I don't wear it tucked behind my ears. I wear it out like this. Um... The bangs are fairly long, as you can see, and the length is fairly long. Um, I think it has an overall length of uh, 12 inches long, and the top is pretty long, but it lays very nice. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a spin for you so that you can see it, but this right here is my left-hand side. So it's my left. This is the back. And it has a lot of movement. This is the right side. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what the top looks like too. So that way you can kind of see. Because when sometimes when I think of a wig having a lot of permatease, it's kind of scary sometimes. It can be visible uh, depending on what wig it is. So I don't want visible permatease. But on this style, Permatease is required, or it's not really required. It is needed because this style is curly, and it has it. The permatease gives you some volume. It helps hold this style, and it also covers up the wefting. So there's what the top looks like. So you can kind of get an idea. But there is permatease right here, but I don't think it's very visible. Um. Uh, let's see. I feel like that. Um, this would be a good style to pull back in a barrette. 
I wouldn't pull back anything here because it is a basic cap. So I fear that you could see the, the cap right there. Although the way I have it styled, I don't feel like that you can actually tell that it's a basic cap. Um, like I said, the fibers are very silky, very soft. Henry Margu does a very nice job on their fibers. They're one of my favorite fibers. I just can't wear some of the styles because the caps are too big for me. And what I will do is I will go ahead and show you um, the inside of this cap and I will show you the uh, wig grip that I have on. So I'm gonna take this off. This right here is my wig grip. I wear this every day with my wig. It has lace, it starts right here, it goes all the way across. And it also has lace right here as well. And this right here is velvet. Um, and then it fastens in the back with Velcro. So the inside of the cap, you will see, this is the back, this is the tag, this is the Velcro adjusters, no extended nape on that. Here are the ear tabs. The ear tabs are open, so they're not, there's no uh, velvet covering over it, but it does have a metal stay in here. Again, that's the other ear tab. Here is the front of the wig. This right here will show you, this is the band. This is very soft right here. This just shows you that there is no lace front and you can kind of see inside the cap. So the inside of the cap just shows you it's basic. There is no features and you can kind of tell where all the permatease is at. Again, I don't mind the permatease on this style because I think it is required. Um, to give the volume that we want and or need for this style. Um, when I go to put this wig on, or any wig I, I have, I actually just hold the wig up just like this. So the tag is right here. I actually just tuck my head down, pull my head into it, take the ear tabs, and I just take that up. I match up, up this line with my actual hairline. And then I actually take the ear tabs and I make sure that the ear tabs are lined up where I want them. And then I just, on this style right here, I don't ever use a brush. I've worn it a few times outside of the, doing this uh, review and or discussion on it. I don't ever use a brush on this. I just use my fingers. Um, when I got this out of the box this morning to get ready for this, I um, sprayed it down with water and did a little scrunch with it. I sprayed just a smidge of uh, product right here to hold the bang up because I don't like bangs on my face. And then I hung the style upside down to dry. So then when it dried, I put it on and this is what it looked like. And this is a very gorgeous piece. My goal is, is to have this in another color that is more suitable for my skin tone. I do appreciate everybody being here and stopping by. I appreciate comments, feedback, a thumbs up. You can share the video. Um, I hope that each and one, every one of you guys have a great day today and thank you so much. This is Heather with Just a Girl in Her Wigs. Have a great day.